Muffin doesn't like to get her knees dirty, so she's bear crawling. So this is Sand Lake at Wakaiva Spring State Park. We're doing the loop. You can eat lunch here. You can go fishing here. You don't go swimming in this one. There's a gator. There is a gator. We did see it. He's in the middle over there on that little dot. But there's a loop that goes around at the beginning of the four mile hike. It's the shorter, I'm sure. It's the shorter version of the, um, I don't know. It's the shorter version of the white trail. The white trail is almost 14 miles. We're just doing a four mile section of it. And this is a part of it. And Jolene is not impressed. But she's also tired. All right. Okay, slave driver. I'll there move. you go. Okay. So most of the hike has been pretty much single lane. Most of it. We're not even a quarter of it. Well, most of it so has far. It oh, most of it so stay, stay far. Perfect. I have a new. I have a different app, so it actually tracks the trail. Do you have your is... mile thing gone too? No. So how far do we know we've gone? Cause I can, it isn't, I can look at, I can look at it and it'll say it. I don't have to have it yell at me. I like it yelling at me so I know that it's been a mile. We should track mine. It's a little late. Anyways. We're on the hunt for crocodiles. Sasquatches. Massive crocodiles. Sasquatches. We did see a crocodile. We did. Well, no, it's not a crocodile, it's an alligator. Crocodiles are saltwater. You know, I just wanted to make a comment about not having the distance tracker because I like it telling me that my turn is halfway over and your turn is coming and you can carry your daughter. Just throwing that out there. Okay, well next hike, I'll turn it on for you. Are you still videoing? Yes. Oh, my bad. Don't worry, I'll cut it out. No, you won't. Yeah, I know I won't. Okay, so... But it's a lot like this, and you know, little stomps and stuff. Not as crazy as you know, Black Bear. Tom Black Dan Bear. Radio, Tom and Dan Radio said that too. Black Bear. Well, there's a big bug. She's safe. She's safe. Black Bear was a lot more crazy with the. Oh my God, my my butt flexor muscles are still aching. <sighs> it was the trail was so. Uh, narrow and elevated only one person can walk on it so if you had someone coming towards you you had to find like a passing like like up north in the mountains when the road is snowing or something and you have to let semis through yeah pretty intense. so we'll take more video when we get to the uh, uh, rock springs run and uh, I do want to make a comment <sighs> about the humidity it's really high humidity right now yeah it's quite hot and it's like i don't, I don't muggy it's hot but i think the humidity makes yeah because it it's where it's like you can't barely breathe yeah and it's uh april 29th yeah it's not even summer yet 9 30 squirrels and i still don't know how far we've gone <sighs> all right we'll take more video in a little bit so we got attacked by some serious horse flies. They were attracted to my pants and I took a very nasty spill and I'm all... Is that my phone? Did your phone just vibrate? It makes me think it's a horse fly. I don't need it. It's my mom. Right, step two. So yeah, I took a nasty fill, spill. And Jolene went nuts. Jolene cried. We had eight minutes of a horse fly hunting us down and biting you every two and a half minutes. It fucking hurt. And I couldn't kill it. And it was attracted to your pants. So. And at first it was. No, don't wear black yoga pants. 
and then at second it got serious and then third it would not go away and it was either multiples or the same one and even with my ninja cow skills it wasn't an, it wasn't a match no i don't I, maybe we did kill it but after you fell maybe it felt bad because that was a bad fall fucking hurt Jolene was screaming. Maybe Jolene crying scared it. It's like, oh shit, there's a baby. Run. Oh, no. Thought I broke my camera, but thank God I didn't. You landed on your camera. I landed right on it. And it wasn't a narrow trail like you just passed. No, it wasn't like this. It was, it was a narrow, really small and narrow and a lot right. of tree stumps. So, note to self, be careful. And we need to do some research on what attracts horse flies. Because to biting the ever-loving schnitt out of you. There's some right there. Because they just don't go after horses. They're not just for horses nowadays. Obviously. So, we're going to head back to the truck. And, uh... Only one way back, and that's forward. Yep. And so we're going to just try and get there. And make and the best... Of our height out of the rest of our hike, even though that fall really effing hurt, so.